Hello YouTube, Canadian MTG coming to you guys with another modern deck deck. So today we have Affinity Aggro. Yes, this is, an, this is a costly deck at about $1,200, but it is extremely fun and worth the play. Um, probably the fact is that they used foils, which instantly become expensive, but uh, you know, you know, it, it's just a fun deck nonetheless, nonetheless. Anyways, let's get over or let's go over the deck, pardon me. 29 creatures, 17 land, 11 artifact, 3 sorcery, and 15 sideboard. So our creatures, starting off, we have 4 Arcbound Ravager, which is where most of the money goes. 0-0 zero, zero for 2, sacrifice an artifact, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Arcbound Ravager, modular 1. This enters the battlefield with 1-1 one, one counter on it. When it dies, it's 1-1 one, one counters to put on a different artifact. 2 Etched Champion, which is a 2-2 for 3 Metalcraft. Etched Champion has protection from all colors as long as you control 3 or more artifacts. 4 Master of Ethereum, which is an unknown unknown for 3. Master of Ethereum's power and toughness are equal to the number of artifacts you control, and other, our other artifact creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. Then we got 4 Memnite, which is a 1-1 uh, for 0. 4 Ornithopter, which is a 0-2 flying for 0. For Signal Pest, which is 0 1 for 1 Battle Cry, and Signal Pest can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. 3 Steel Overseer, which is a 1 1 for 2. Tap, put a 1 1 counter on each artifact creature you control. And then 4 Vault Scourge, which is a 1 1 for 2 uh, Flying and Lifeling. So, really devastating artifact creatures. You're going to have a pain in the butt dealing with these guys. But nonetheless, I think you guys will enjoy playing this deck it's very easy to work around too like well work with work around affinity is still one of the very few decks out there that is around with the modern eldrazi spike so anyways our lands we have four blink moth nexus four dark steel citadel four glimmer void four ink moth nexus and one island so anyways blink moth nexus is one to your mana pool and then becomes a one one artifact creature with flying and then a creature gets plus one plus one Citadel is just colorless and indestructible. Glimmer Pool is add any mana uh, mounted to your mana pool. Now, Inf Inkmoth Nexus, you know, uh, produces creature tokens as well. And then we have our artifacts. So, 3 Cranial Plating, which is a 2 cost. Equipped creature gets plus 1 plus 0 for each artifact creature you control. Or artifact you control. And 2 Black, attach Cranial Plating to target creature you control. Or equip 1. 4 Mox Opal, another one of the really expensive cards in this deck. Same as Steel Overseer, he went up a lot. Um, Metalcraft, tap, add 1 mana uh, of any color to your mana pool, activates its ability only if you control 3 or more artifacts, it's 0 cost by the way. And then 4 String uh, Spring Leaf Drum, which is a 1 cost, tap, uh, tap an untapped creature you control, add 1 mana of any mana to your mana pool. And then our three sorceries are three thought casts, which is a five cost, affinity for artifacts, and draw two cards. Our sideboard includes four dispatch, four gavanic blast, four spell skate, four thought seize, and one warship. Warship being one of the expensive ones, same with thought thought seizes. Spell skate is now $37. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's deck deck. Check out the description for the playlist, and I'll see you guys next time.